Well, hello everyone. A little different here. Typically I do a live show, but occasionally it's good sometimes to reshuffle the deck. So got a short program here and wanted to put it together and I really have been really looking into this and it's unusual. You know, here we are open-minded and really free thinkers. We look at the fact that anything and everything is possible and no matter what one's own point of view is it's always good to hear different points of view and perspectives so get right to it i have been thinking on the events that all of us uh, the world the nation have gone through in the last seven days and it got me to thinking that you know, there's a lot more here than what's seen. And the thought occurred to me, you know, what once was shall yet be again. That kind of goes in philosophy, theology, politics. And it all affects us that, well, Maybe the ancient cultures really did know what they were talking about. And today in the modern world, we think we're all sophisticated and we got everything figured out with our technology when we realize we don't have anything at all going for. So I put this together and walk with me on this. And again, this is going to require a open mind. You know, um, I think we're all capable of doing that, right? So I wanted to put it right up front that this presentation requires you, you, the listener, to keep an open mind at all times. So I want to pose the question for everybody. Is Donald Trump a demigod? Now, I know there's a lot of, you know, I think they call it Trump derangement syndrome, a lot of, a lot of hard feelings where this individual is, which, again, is characteristic of a demigod. And are we truly looking at something very hmm, unusual? It was a moment. I've heard a lot of different opinions, and, you know, everyone's welcome to their opinion. Uh, but nevertheless, there is that side that this individual faced something that few of us ever do. And the demigods. Well, what is a demigod, right? That's a question that I was interested because I just went around asking a few people, and, you know, it's like, what? Well, a demigod is a male being, often the offspring of a god and a mortal, who has some but not all of the powers of a god. Or it could be an inferior deity, a minor god, or a deified man. And this is the definition from the American Heritage Dictionary. So, you look at this and, you know, our, our ancestors, the culture that we share today is the byproduct of what our ancestors thought and believed. And they did believe in the fact that these demigods walked among us. And history is replete with the stories, Hercules and his challenges, uh, Horse, the all-seeing eye, you know, there are many different religions and many different gods, and they all kind of co-mingle. But the fact is, no matter what religion you may be or of what different philosophy you may be, it is a fact that for as long as there have been records written by us, um, every culture of every age talks about the demigods, how they walked among us. Um, in fact, it could very well be that if you're listening to this, you may be, in fact, a demigod. And although it does a male understand 
um, the ladies have just as big a role in this as well, for they are demigods as well. There is a certain philosophy and belief that all of us are, in a sense, demigods. And the gods, and depending on whether you're, you know, monotheistic or polytheistic in your central core beliefs, um, that in essence, and, and even where I come out of Christianity, it says, know you not that you are all gods. That means we're demigods. But in the culture of demigods, there are those unique mortals that have stood out in time. And we watch, the rest of us, many times their test and trials. All demigods are tested. You can't avoid it. If you are one, and let me tell you, folks, they're all around us. It's just that in the modern culture, we're not taught these things. We're not taught how to perceive this perspective of reality. But nevertheless, it is true. They're tested. And when you look at history <clears throat> and the tile work, the frescoes, the rest of the painting, the statutes, these are all of those who faced that test, conquering remarkable feats that the mere mortal seems to be incapable or inept of actually performing. And what they all have in common is that they all have faced death, the ultimate test. Some have escaped, some have not. And to those who have seen death and faced that ultimate test, well, there is this belief that there is a promotion, a mortal becoming immortal. And that's what everybody is working towards. It's what religion is based on. The demigods of today, that's where they're focused in on. Immortality. <clears throat> did we see it? I believe we did, but, you know, each his own. And we're talking about Donald J. Trump. Remarkable man. No matter how you see the individual, still a remarkable man. Are we looking at a bona fide demigod here? Chances are you have probably met a few bona fide demigods demigods. But this one here was about to be tested. And we know how he came through that test. They've all been here. The demigods. They're here now. Nothing has changed. Few are chosen. I mean, when they get to that ultimate platform. Now, understand in your individual life, you most likely have faced similar tests. What does that say about you? But what we do know from the history, from the mythologies and the myths, the legends, and even the real life today, those that are chosen as mortals to become demigods, whether they were born or were brought into, doesn't matter. What we do know, even more have failed. <laughs> what does that tell you? So, when you want to do a comparison, well, well, so what is a demigod to a god? All right, we'll go down that road. So, a demigod is subordinate to the will of the supreme. The supreme is supremely independent. I like that. The demigods have material bodies, hence subjected to birth, old age, disease, and death. Whereas the God has complete spiritual, completely a spiritual body, no birth, no age, no disease, and no death. Well, isn't that what we're all working towards? Then the God has the thing of coming under the influence of three material modes to different extents. And they are temporary post. We're all just temporary. Whereas the God comes under 
uh, the influence of the three material modes to different extents as well, but is eternally the same, the supreme. All right. I mean, it's not that hard to grasp. In fact, most of us have already pretty much been taught this just in a different language. So what are the attributes of a demigod? Well, one of the things that you can immediately spot and, you know, understand you could have a different opinion, but for this discussion is wealth. And not just any kind of wealth. We're talking wealth that is enough wealth that by the wealth itself elevates you to a position of high power. And in, 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 in such a rarefied air, um, individuals that will, in fact, influence policy, that's a big deal. That's a god, demigod. They also seem to have the unusual abilities in finance, social circles, politics. They have a certain grace about them, a decorum. They have all superior intellect. Uh, they also achieve well in the games of the gods, sports. They also have this uncanny ability of leadership and a high state of creativity. And when I speak of creativity, this is on multiple levels. Now, it can be in mathematics. It can be in stratagems. But these are the attributes of a demigod. Um, even in failure, they succeed. They have the unusual or uncanny timing. It just seems like they have got something, like they almost have this in tune to where they can see the previews of the coming hits, right? Um, they have the ability to foresee trends of events. Events cause trends, and these trends will bring forth events. Another unusual aspect of demigods is the bloodlines. Odd how in many cases these bloodlines intermixed in the past. It also appears that they have, the gods uh, have shown them favor. They seem to have an anointing about themselves. Now, most people don't stop and think about it. If you have an anointing upon you, then it's coming from a higher power, higher department, as I would put. So we know them today as titans. Particularly in the information age, we know them as the titans of technology. And when you look at a world, they say now 8 billion, how very few are indeed chosen. Now, this is not a representation of all, but it's a good sampling. We even have awards for the tech titans. Created in the image of Mount Olympus with Zeus. Zeus representing the supreme, Hercules representing the mortal. But nevertheless, it is of such a grandeur. Yeah. Now, if you look at these 100, I think this case is it's 20, um, every one of these is a demigod. Maybe you've had the privilege of meeting a couple of them. I have in the past, but nevertheless, they met all the criteria. Now, how many have become <clears throat> immortal? I don't know. But modern day demigods, they are. The collective wealth of these few it's what changes the world, and I could have put Gates in here as well. I mean, no matter which one you may be thinking of, we'll put them in there. 
They change the world. They have that type of influence. These are demigods. There are many demigods. They live among us. They all are almost all mortals. Not to say that there is not a few immortals. Few are chosen or become immortals because most fail the test. They achieve a certain level. And then let me tell you, these levels are very high. But in the end, they still failed the test. You go back and look at those pictures of those like with Steve Jobs, uh, Zuckerberg, Gates, I mean, Jeff Bezos, all of them. I wonder how many of them are still consciously aware that they are being tested. I know one that had particular real challenges with it, Mr. Jack Dorsey. The individual has some really in perspective. But anyway, back to the point here, the demigods, they're here. Now, when you talk about Donald Trump, no one can argue that this man, he has the Midas touch. Like I said, an attribute of the demigods is that even when they fail, they succeed. And, and this man is by far, um, well, it's just right out there in front of you. Seems like anything he gets involved with does well. So I get back to the short question here. Is Donald Trump a demigod? Excuse me. It's a simple question. Who knows? I wanted to bring it out there because I happen to believe that what us mere mortals see is not exactly what is. But that there are things unfolding before us that, hey, who would have even known or thought? We do live in a magical time. But so did our ancestors. And our technology is just another form of magic. And since we live in a magical world, a magical reality, the gods, the demigods, they walk here. Many of us will no doubt have our opportunity. <laughs> I'm convinced of that. And there are different stages. But I contend what we saw last week was a test of the gods. Now, whether you believe in a single God or if you believe in a supreme being, however it is, but this man showed that he was as mortal as all of us, but yet had something else that is apart from most other mortals. So leave me a comment uh, on my program uh, tomorrow on Monday. We're going to get more into the fact that these demigods are here. They're all around us. In fact, I keep saying, many who are listening, you are one. So welcome to the club, right? All right. Uh, leave me your comments and thought. Don't put the hate in there. You know, I'll just delete it. So don't even waste your time. Uh, and now if you're a free thinker and have the ability to really see this thing in a much more open-minded way, love to hear your thoughts. Tell me, do you believe that the demigods are here? All right. Till we see each other again, thank you for listening, and thank you for hitting the thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Till we see each other again, thank you.